Hello, it's Peter here again from Writer's Life and coming up today, how to tackle writing fatigue. Everyone has days where they don't feel like writing, but when the days turn into weeks and the weeks turn into months, it can become a big problem. Do you have writing fatigue? Some common symptoms are feeling as though everything you write is awful, being unable to get past the initial stages of an idea, being consumed by negative thinking that means you can't focus on the task at hand, feeling as though you're stuck in a rut and writing the same sort of things over and over again, changing things and feeling as though you are no better and running out of ideas. If any of these things sound familiar, you might have writing fatigue. But what can you do about it? Here are some suggestions. First, get out of the house. A change of scenery can work wonders for the imagination. Fresh air and exercise will get that blood pumping. And who knows what you'll see or hear when you're out and about that will inspire you with a brilliant idea for your story. Take a break. Sometimes you suffer from writing fatigue because you do need a break from writing. Do yourself a favor, let yourself have some time off from writing. Just don't let the break turn into a permanent one. Sometimes putting something aside and coming back to it after a few weeks can help us to see new things and spark new ideas that allow us to get over whatever problems we were having when we initially became frustrated. Read something inspiring. Sometimes we need to get back to what inspired us to start writing in the first place. Reading over our favourite books again or just finding inspiring quotes can help to lift one's spirits and help us to recollect why we write, what's important to us and get us back on the right track once more. Reset your goals. Take a look at your writing goals. Perhaps you've been pushing yourself too far and too hard and have set goals that are impossible to reach. Or maybe your goals aren't driving you far enough and have allowed you to become lazy. Take a look at the goals and deadlines you've set for yourself and see if you can change them to keep you more motivated. Look after yourself. Get plenty of rest. Eat healthily. Learn how to relax and unwind. And don't forget to exercise. Keeping the mind and body fueled with goodness will help you feel energetic, positive and focused. All important for being your best writing self. Coming across a roadblock in your writing is frustrating, but there are ways to deal with it. Every writer will experience times when they find it difficult to write and writing becomes sluggish and even dull to them. The critical thing to remember is to work through this. Don't give up and persevere and eventually you'll get back into the flow of things. Using these tips will help you get there faster and hopefully make instances of writing fatigue as short-lived and painless as possible. And don't forget, if you're struggling to write or finish your book, our free writer's toolkit can help. With it, you'll learn how to overcome procrastination, stay focused, find time to write, and finally get your book published. To get access now, while it's still available, simply go to writerslife.org forward slash toolkit. That's writerslife.org forward slash toolkit. Toolkit. That's it for now. Be sure to like this video, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel for more. My name's Peter, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.